tonight is a very interesting night because we are going to have a very interesting topic to be discussed. I am very glad to be here tonight as a participant, not the speaker, because Kun Pakon Nin Prapan, who is the engineer of the Licensing Facilitation Act, will be the speaker and the main actor for, for tonight. Unless you have any question concerning the Constitution, <laughs> I will join it later. I said the topic tonight is very interesting and very modern because it's the new law. Its name is the Licensing Facilitation Act. It was published in the Royal Gazette in January this year. And it will come into force in the next couple of months. Well, actually, in July. This law will facilitate your doing business in Thailand. As you know, in order to do any business, actually in any country in the world, you need to get the permission or the approval or the license from the public officer concerned. And in order to live happily in any country in the world, sometimes you must have the license or the permission from the authority concerned too. There is a joking that uh, when you get up early in the morning and open the window, you will never know whether you violate any law because you don't get any permission from the government. Well, it's a joke. Don't worry. It doesn't happen in Thailand. When I said the Licensing Facilitation Act, it's the law aiming at the facilitation of the licensing. There are many problems for those who do business in Thailand and for those who live in Thailand. Somebody told me that <clears throat> there are at least 500 laws requiring the permission from the government before one can do anything. It covers, those 500 laws cover 2,500 activities. That's a lot. At first, we think about abolishing those laws, but it's very difficult. Once they become law, it's very difficult to abolish them. So we think otherwise. Let those laws alive, but get the new one, get the new law to facilitate the permission, the approval of the licensing. That will be very easy. And now we have that law already. That is the Licensing Facilitation Act. This law will answer to many questions or problems arising that you may be confronted with them before. When we deal with the government, in order to get any permission, the first question comes up. How long does it take in order to get the license? How long does it take in order to get the appro approval? How long should I wait for the permission? Secondly, how much does it cost? 
Thirdly, do we have to pay any under table fee? Next question is, what are the prerequisites for the application? What documents are needed in order to apply for the license? How many tables do we have to deal with in order to get the permission or the license? I'm sure that you get used to these questions. Now, the answers to all these questions are within this law, the Licensing Facilitation Act. This law provides a strong incentive for agencies to perform. It goes further by carrying a big stick and specifies punitive measures in terms of disciplinary action and criminal charges for negligence and corruption if the public officers fail to comply with this law. The question is, who will be the first challenger? We are waiting for the, that. Probably one of you here will be the first challenger. I can expect. Kun Pakon Ninprapan, as the engineer, or actually, he is one of the first people who spend a lot of time in drafting this law will be the guest speaker tonight. He works as the senior officer at the office of the state council or the office of the juridical council, which is the legal advisor to the government. So I asked him to give the special lecture tonight. My job is just the just uh, give the introductory note. So I hope that Kun Pakon will tell you everything about this law and he is suitable to be a speaker for tonight. Thank you very much for your attention. Please enjoy your meal and the lecture given by Kunpakon Ninprapan. Thank you very much. <laughs>